Welcome to the Black Gay History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. James Booker was a prominent jazz, classical, and blues pianist during the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. Growing up in a musically inclined family in Mississippi and New Orleans, Booker's piano playing skills blossomed at an early age. Booker quickly gained notoriety from jazz enthusiasts of the time, like jazz legend Dr. John, saying Booker was, quote, the best black, gay, one-eyed junkie, piano genius New Orleans had ever produced. Booker was able to master and memorize classical pieces by Bach and Chopin, while being able to innovate jazz and blues pieces, showing his versatility. Nicknamed the Black Liberace for his incredible piano playing, his recording career would see his pieces hit the Billboard charts and R&B charts, and his success would be even greater in Europe. Many speculate that Booker moved to Europe later in his career because of the constant racism and homophobia an openly black gay man would have endured throughout the 1960s and 70s, and also that European fans seemed to respect his artistry more so than those in the States. In 2013, a documentary called Bayou Maharaja, The Tragic Genius of James Booker, chronicled the peaks of his musical career and achievements, as well as his public struggles with substance use. It's amazing to know that even at a time where black gay men had no platforms for themselves, so many were carving out incredible legacies in the face of such oppression in American culture. <laughs>